Ladies and gents, quick unboxing, brand new backup UPS system by APC. Power and protect critical electronics and stay connected during outages, searches, and lighting. This is the 850VA, 450 watts. And it says 90 minutes runtime for PC loads. And it also varies depending on what you connect to it. Ladies and gents, this is my fourth one. However, this is the, the smaller version compared to whatever I have. I have another one which is by the same brand, APC. And I have two by CyberPower. All right, moment of truth. So, first, we actually have, well, the instruction manual, as usual, right? Straightforward. And it also has the cable right in it, all right? It's right here, the cable. Then, we have the entire device. It's a little heavy, well, a battery. That's how it's supposed to be, right? So, gently removing it from the box, all right, ladies and gents? This is what it is, and this is what it looks like. The size, very portable, lightweight, decent enough, okay? The lightest of all the UPS I have so far. And this is the front. I'm gonna take it out of the pack in a bit. I plan on using it with my modem, the router basically, and uh, maybe connect one of the LED lights, strip lights, okay? And I'll actually do another demo use case. I'll show you how I'm using it. For now, I'll take it off the bag. Let's actually do it. Whoa. Yeah, this is nice and very sleek. UPS, they have come a long way. Back then, they used to be huge and barely in the capacity. All right, so now I'm actually gonna show you everything, okay? So this is the front. Look at this, it's shiny. We have four power slots right there. And then, of course, it says, it has a quick instruction right there. And we have two USB, two right here. It has two USB, which is interesting. I could actually connect a iPhone charger as well, right? And then, of course, you have the power button here. So we have the power button here, two USB slots, and four, the surge, right? The power outlet. And as for the, the cord, it's flat. This is really interesting and cute. It's flat, three prong. All right, ladies and gents. Other than that, there's nothing much here. Oh, on the side, it says bu uh, building wiring fault, all right? On this side, you see this? It says building wiring fault. And then this is the, well, I don't actually use any of these. Most of my other UPS, they have the same stuff. This is the data port, all right? So this is the data port. And then you have the circuit breaker. You have the circuit breaker right here, all right? And the bottom has nothing, but it seems like you could take out the battery, all right? This simple, all right? You can actually take it out and uh, put it back in. So back in, and it, did, it does say, turn product over, remove rare cover, connect battery. So see manual for additional information. So the battery, you take it out, and actually, I'm gonna do this right now, okay? Check this out, you take it out. So you see, this one is connected. Over here, it tells us the one other red, it's not connected, you see that? So we have to connect the red one right now, and then we'll put it back in, okay? So carefully, whoa, yep, done. Now I'm gonna put it back. Whoa, okay, gently, I'll push it down. Oh, whoa. All right, ladies and gents, it's locked in place. Okay, now if I turn on the power button, which I'm gonna do, ready? That's it, it works straight out of the box. So just take out the battery, connect the second cord, the red one specifically, and now it turns on, it's green. So I will actually plug it in and charge because it's not plugged in. So right now, I, if whatever I plug in, it's supposed to work. Other than that, there's nothing else. But if you remember, I mentioned about this, this is the data cord. And this is always an extra that comes with most of the UPS backup. So ladies and gents, I hope you found this useful. Again, before I end, this is the, the user interface. Very straightforward, simple, turned on, it's green. Other than that, that's what I have for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.